<sighs> you stop every time I go on a tangent here. Move on. I am moving on. That was it. That's it for the news. So it's time to go to the discussion, which is art critique. All right, we're doing this shit. Yay. Yes. I'm going to get some food. You guys can go about five minutes without me saying shit. Yeah, we could, we could do that. So, over the past uh, two days, I scoured the internet looking for all sorts of art that have been... Two days, he took 20 minutes. <laughs> I actually took a little bit longer than that, unfortunately. No, he took more time, I'm just giving him shit. Yeah, but I've scoured all over the internet and uh, pretty heavily in uh, Equestria Daily, I won't deny that. And found 40 different pieces of artwork that e are either Christmas related or at least um, winter Holiday. related as related to the holiday as I can and we're going to uh, bring him up and talk a little bit about the artwork the um, cr and just critique it as we go obviously this is something that Slick D has done quite a lot of and this is one of my first forays into it so heaven help me yeah surprising I'm surprisingly good at this little thing I don't know why well we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh, one that actually was put on spotlight over at Derpy Boru called have yourself a Ver merry little Full mess. Which is an awesome little art of uh, Trixie, or we believe it to be Trixie, uh, apparently having a little bit too much Christmas cheer with Luna. The biggest oh. thing to note about this image is the amazing, absolutely stunning detail to the light focus, where the light is coming from and shining onto the two. It's yes. in perfect positions. It's absolutely beautiful in that. The, it's a little... On Trixie's horn, I, I'm not sure if that left side should necessarily be lit up, but after that point, I'm just nitpicking. Also, fun note is that Luna's cutie marks fucking back <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, they did do a, a few little jokes with the cutie mark, so yeah, he did have... Someone stop me. I love her fucking Luna. Say what? We lose him right there. Yeah, we just oh. lost him right there. He said somebody stop him, and I guess he stopped himself. I think he's going. I don't think he. I don't think he knows he's DC'd. I think he figured it out at this point. Wow. Yes, Commander. I just said that's a fucking Pac-Man cutie mark. Yeah, but along with this, I really did enjoy the a little bit of humor in the art. You obviously, obviously, it looks like Trixie's gone a little bit uh, infatuated with Luna. It kind of I mean, gives off the whole. Um, there he is. There he uh, is. Like once an hour. What were you trying to say? What did you love? You said somebody stopped me, but then yeah, you got stopped. stopped. Me. I love her little fucking shoes she's got going on. Oh my goodness! You're right. Yeah. Yeah, right, right back in the tech. actually, I didn't quite notice the shoes, but I really did notice the outfits, and it kind of felt like a char like Charles Dickens a little bit, just with the way that has kind of the uh, old 16th century England well, style to it. Uh, this is potentially a Scrooge thing, is what I'm looking at. Hmm. Yeah, it pro yeah, possibly could be. That's more what I'm looking at. Um. But whatever. Let's move on. We got a lot to do here, apparently. Oh, we definitely got a lot to do, but feel free to go completely nuts. I don't expect us to get through all of them. I really don't. Next, Happy Holidays with My Little Ponies Putting Up a Tree. All right, let me see here. Uh, Circuit, uh, expand that a little bit if you can. Uh, certainly. I can bump it up a notch. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that did not bump it up. To what the hell? Ugh. Sergey, just click on the image. Should expand. So there we go. Very nice. Okay. Uh, now, what is? Oh, okay. Uh, Twilight is uh, putting the star on using her magic. I thought <laughs> some weird thing was happening with Fluttershy. I thought Fluttershy. she was like laser beaming on. <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks like Fluttershy was holding it with her nose a little bit. But yeah, that's what I like here is that all the pets are uh, they're placed in various ways. Actually, Gummy is right next to Pinky, and he actually blends in really well with the other ornaments. Is kind of what's funny about him being there. Spike, though, I'm wondering what's up with him. I actually don't like Spike being in this image the way he is because there's he's like doing something. He's like stalking Rainbow Dash. He like wants to do something to her. I don't know. He, kinda... he looks like he looks like a kid who's about to throw a rock at a car. I don't know, it yeah. look, kind of looks like the way Obelescent should be, just that cat that happens to climb the tree and just does weird, mischievous things in it. Exactly, he's being naughty, that's what he's fucking doing, and yeah. this fireplace looks like it's about to eat someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do kind of like the glossy look of everything, it just kind of has like like that slight fuzz that you would get from the early Christmas specials on everything. Yeah, it, no, it's not what the... 
it's a it's just a beautiful little bit of art it, it does keep things somewhat simple but i kind of like it that way somewhat simple it's obviously not very simple at all yeah no, it's it's nice also it's this is a uh, stand this is unicorn twilight something i haven't seen in a little while uh, this is that one of the older pieces that i picked up oh yeah yeah so yeah, i get a little bit back to basics there with the unicorn twilight as well mm mhm and also, having to do with the lighting, um, I like how it handles uh, both the window lighting and the fire lighting. Alright, and something I, I guarantee you most of you, like, just weren't noticing is a uh, reindeer tank up there. Oh! oh I didn't notice. Actually, I, I thought I saw something, but I wasn't sure for a moment. Yep. I'm, I'm really enjoying rainbow ta uh, reindeer tank. Mm -hmm. mm, very nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. Unfortunately, I could not find the source for this, but I thought it was too a little too awesome to pass up. The Cutie Mark Crusaders in apparent for the three French hens or something something along those lines. The uh, image name it says on the third day of Christmas, so I, I had a Fuck feeling that it kind of fits into that. She really needs this. That flower in Sweetie Belle's hair. I, she needs that normally. I really love that. Yeah. Actually, the whole thing with Sweetie Bill's hair just seems a little bit off. I like the way it is, though. It just seems downer, a little bit lower than it would be, or longer. It definitely is. It is for sure. I just, fuck, I love Sweetie Bill. I'm, I'll fucking get into that another day. Um, a few I things to note about this picture. Much, but... What is with that tree growing out of the roof? Has that always been there like that? Hmm. Actually, I don't, I don't know so. if that's... Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so, right? Also, this is one continuous scar. Those are good friends, because me, me and the guys did this once. We didn't get very far. We almost ended up killing Zach, because out of strangulation. We, we tried this exact thing, but Zach almost died of strangulation. Actually, the tree the tree limb does um, go out of the treehouse, apparently. It does go out of the tree. What the fuck kind of treehouse is this? Alright, I'm listening, treehouse. But that, uh, at the same time, that's a pretty good attention to detail, making sure you get every little bit of the treehouse right there. It's just, I actually really enjoy, just because of his face, because he's lacking a nose, I love little unicorn snowman behind them. Oh, wow, how in the... Jeez, you're finding things even I'm not seeing. I just, I love his little carrot horn. I just love his smile. It's fucking like, it just looks like, I'm gonna fucking bop you with this thing. Little snowman right there, he actually spotted it, and I did not see that at all. I kind of yeah. notice all these things. This is why I'm fun at this. Yeah, this, this is. You're, dang it, we're gonna have to make this a lot more than just once in a yeah, very also, short. I'm just wondering what's up with Scootaloo. I think she fucking ate the yellow snow. <laughs> yeah, Scootaloo is always doing. It might even be the point. Yeah. Let's see. On a winter's day is the next one. This one's a little bit more on the simple side, but I thought that would be a little bit more fun that way. So this is something we would all do if we all actually just see us walking out by a mall or something just dressed up with a Yeah, man, this is fucking somebody yeah. coming from Starbucks on a cold day just being nice like, it's another yeah, it fucking day, but this is going to make it all better. It's kind of seems nice. Yeah. Because it's also one of, it's clearly one of those peppermint mochas that are always popular this year. Yeah, I'm always fashion. very, those, those are nice to have. I'm not really, uh, I'm not a coffee guy, to be honest with you. I'm a, uh, though I did try a latte recently. Caramel apple latte? You know what? That was pretty good. No you you try a lot at 7-Eleven when it's free. It's actually pretty good. Um, I love repeat. I, I really, I just love repeat. I'm, I'm not even, th that's the funny thing about me. Do you ban him? I know. Uh, uh, ban him for the sake of it? No, well, that. LSKM, we should ban you because that's peppermint mocha, not freaking pump, uh, pumpkin spice. Yeah, yeah pumpkin and spice. Yo, that happened. Yeah, God! Was pumpkin this, spice, too. This is, no, this is, seriously, spice. this is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, he's been banned by Sir. <laughs> well, uh, I banned him for a quick tick because that, it's pumpkin spice, damn it. That's the white girl thing. It is the white girl thing. It is the white girl thing, for sure. Yes. That you banned him for that? I'm really happy. There's not too many notable things about this picture. It's just a standard uh, Luna with some winter attire. Um, I do enjoy I always <laughs> enjoy this looking at, peg, at uh, anything with wings from the front view because of the wings that are tucked in. That's always something that's uh, very often difficult to get uh, for artists because it's just such an awkward angle to try and see wings at. Mm, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it, you, you see the, all the little lines for the feathers and the, the cutoff point between the wing and the feathers. Uh, it's nice to see here that the, it's done very well, but also that uh, it's it's very difficult to do, so I'm, I'm pleased to see it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely can imagine that being easy. Even I would have, mm. well, even I, I would have difficulty just doing this. What? Yeah, even I would. <laughs> wait, wait, the way the painting is it's just, it's just a, Yeah, yet. just a straight on forward in general. Forward, it's not that hard, but you remember one of the first images I did for you was mostly a forward uh, image. It was a three-fourths for full body. Touche. Oh. 
So it can be, it can be. It's really just, oh. you got to know how the angles work. Sure. All right, moving right along here. Next we got Mistletoe Twilight. That's simplicity of itself, but it's just cute. Actually, uh, the, the funny thing is that this artist actually did several different mistletoes. Uh, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, uh, and Twilight. Just tugging at what I love. Nothing gets me actually, going she was the first one I found. I see these oh, yeah. little also, brussels yeah, of fur. I don't know how they did the colors Just the veins, along the ears, ears along the thing. cheeks, nothing gets me going more about a piece than when that happens. That's also, nice these eyes are they're, they're spectacular. They're really well done. The eyes are the centerpiece for this, for sure. Everything else, it, like the concept is, um, it's a part of it. It's, it gives it the little the feeling of things, but um, the very slight blush for the because of the situation with the mistletoe I coupled really with the large it. eyes <laughs> is really the core of this, and I'm actually I, I love it. I really love uh, when people do just everyone literally everyone who knows me can tell you I adore eyes. Anything having to do with eyes, if you can make like eyes just really detailed, really really fucking amazing, then you you've got me no matter how shitty everything else is. Hello, everybody. Hey, we got uh, yeah, Sketchy Wolf like, joining you know, us. Bit, right? Yeah, he just barely joined us. Like. Yeah. Uh, not, that, not that any part of this is shitty, mind you, except a little concerned right. about the odd physics going on with her I'll hair. Be, like, go hit a store or something. I'm not a soda. I don't like being at a soda. Um, uh, one, one quick second here. All right, well, for the chat, for the uh, chat anyway, um... It's a it's a lovely piece. The only thing I would criticize on is just the again odd physics of the hair. A styling gel is a stupid excuse. Come on now, um, <clears throat> they're just going up for some reason. And uh, but ultimately, I love the expression. I really again I adore the eyes. The horn is well placed, and that's something that's uh, it's nice and centered on the head. And I know it's like how hard can that be? Well, <laughs> artists seem to screw it up quite a lot, so it, it's got to be more difficult than it sounds. Anyway, we're back. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I got blanked uh, talking to me over here, and I didn't want to interrupt too much because you were really doing an incredible job reviewing this. I one thing I do gotta give though the nose is the nose is the one thing that it it kind of feels a little jarring to me, but at the same time it fits it too. I don't you know I don't find blocky. it too bad. It's, it's just blocky, and the thing it, is it's a little off of what I'm used to seeing in art, but at the same time it's kind of refreshing to have something a little bit different. I think, the, I think the chat missed all of that, because we were That's really just talking me. over there. Yeah. Moving along here. We got Sisters Winter. Oh, see, now this is, now this is a nice... Oh, please don't tell me I'm the only one nice here. Scene. I think this might be going off of... Oh, uh, crap. You guys... Can you guys hear me? I don't can, think... Can you hear me at all? Yeah, we can hear you. No, we can hear you. It's when I... Oh, sorry. My game volume was way... Uh, my sound volume was way down here, so I couldn't hear anything you guys were saying for a second. No. Oh. There you go. But yes, we got Sisters Winter, and uh, I let me try readjusting this a bit because it. Yeah, I got. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think this might be going in the uh, under the Silent Night thing um, because of the Celestia, because Celestia's white robe. That's not her uh, her body. That's actually a robe she's currently wearing. There's also this. It's like a um, is she sitting or what? What exactly is? Uh, I do believe she is sitting uh, with or the rope. She is sitting, because I'm yeah. seeing a cutie mark, but it looks kind of like a rock. I'm just having a little trouble understanding, fully understanding the perspective going on here. Yeah, it almost, it almost looks like she, I think she's sitting down, she has the robe on. That's the one thing I didn't really notice, and just has basically Luna in it, like you would pop a cat in a sweater or a, or a shirt that you're walking around in. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's lovely, and I really like what's going on with the wings here, especially the perspective on the right wing, because that wing is curving in right now. There's there's a there's a breeze, and it's curving in right now. The only problem that I have is that I think what the artist is going for is that a breeze is going from uh, right to left, but the the snowflakes around seem to suggest it's going the opposite direction. Actually, the snowflakes seem to suggest that they're just going down, especially since her mane and everything are just stationary it's only the wings that seem exactly. to be somewhat there's off just a few odd problems with perspective here that's the only problem i really have with it it just seems like there's some odd things going on mm. in the image itself mm. yeah, uh, otherwise it is a pretty good image definitely has a little bit of a touching emotion to it oh, which absolutely. is always good it's a lovely yes. image for sure for sure it's adorable yeah thank you all right then uh let's go ahead and move on to uh christmas twilight i something a little bit more on the humorous side <laughs> I think like, uh, is she a cat? A lot of fun. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. And yes, she, she is. She a cat. Oh, dear. Her Wait. She's a cat. And the, the reason for that is I know this artist uh, very well. This artist actually did the um, 
the uh, Ask MLP Kittens tumbler. This was something that was made a while ago. Uh, it's a uh, it's a fun one. The outfit is cute. The little ribbons and shit. She's got her hair tied with another ribbon. I, I, I there was a part of me that wished that that was uh, her horn because you know, bow horns and stuff. It's kind of funny. Also, seeing a cat with a horn. I don't know what we're doing here anymore, but. <laughs> Oh, hey, Sketchy, feel free to chime in on this a little bit, too, if you want. Uh, it's got Twilight in it. <laughs> well, I mean, on any of the images, obviously. Just Also, I got a quick what's up, Brony. Um, uh, La Luna, for all you don't know, my car is going to be being shipped to my friend by the end of this month. He gave me half the payment, and then once we do the bill of sale tomorrow... I'm going to get all the payment, and Luna is going to no longer be mine. Because the great state of California won't allow her to be here. The great state of California can suck Not it. pass the smog laws. So, I'm going to be getting myself another car. Sad day for me, but, you know, whatever. Sad day and for many. Indeed. Because everyone knows that that car is, like, a party. <laughs> So, yeah, this like car getting upset. Yeah. yeah, I don't think Luna's liking it either because she's she's not wanting to start up in the morning. She's like, no, it's too cold. You're getting rid of me anyway. <laughs> wow, let's talk about fridge bitch. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to uh, another one here. This is just simply titled Fluttershy. Here we go. Hmm. Don't worry, Chad. I promise I won't shit on this one. Um, <clears throat> Actually, I think I mean, you might still enjoy it. It's a very simplistic scene. Uh, general little uh, pony winter outfit. Little, uh, like, you know, like CC said, little booties, if you will. Um, there's a scarf. Um, sure, her mane and tail seem to be more draped than they would be, as opposed to what you would see normally when they're a bit more um, uh, fluffed up, you might say. Um, the background is fairly simplistic. Uh snow, uh, pine trees, the general winter scene. There's not actually a whole lot going on here. Um, it's, it's nice to look at. Uh, yeah, there's not even a whole lot of special things to comment on. I, like, if, if this person had made it so that there were footprints going from where she's clearly walking, I would have, like, lost my shit, because I fucking love little things like that. But, uh, no, it's as if she hasn't walked a single step and just kind of landed on that point. Granted, yeah, Pegasus, I fucking get it, but, uh, she sucks at flying. Don't give me that shit. Well, she could also have been standing there for a while, especially with the way her mane and tail are drooping. It's it so just might long be wet. That her footsteps would be covered by now. Yeah, you're killing me. Okay, I'm I'm guessing here too, but yeah, even yeah, the, it's always little touches that really do the biggest effect. <clears throat> and admittedly, I'm just kind of coming up with whatever excuse come up. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, I do kind of like the just a little bit of artistry of the image, just the uh, big pine forest in the snow and. Just get the a pony walking around it. I just feel it's a little bit of a cliche scene. Uh, nothing wrong with it, mind you. I think cliches are there for a reason because they they kind of work sometimes. Is she missing her cutie mark, or my, or is this too small for me to see? Oh, I don't think I don't think that is the case. I think wow, either that is a really muted cutie mark because I'm having I can't be too sure. What what image number? Uh, oh, it is bare. Oh, it is barely there? there. No, it is barely there. All right, so it is there. It's just wow! It really blends in. That's too much shine. Yeah. All right, looking at it this close, I really am enjoying the uh, the expression in the eyes. I, I do enjoy them. Also, the uh, the hair and the mane and tail work is actually really well done. It's uh, they're good strand work. So it's definitely one of those images that a good closer look will still show the fine details. Still a good yeah, it's oh, always a good move. Oh, for God's sake, stupid fucking. <laughs> Well, moving right along here, let's go on to Big Mac Rudolph. What are we going on to? Oh, uh, ah. nice things like this. Yeah, Big Mac Rudolph. Uh, he's got a, he's got like a mistletoe or whatever leaf that is in his mouth. Is he like expecting? He's like holding it above his think, sister. I don't think that's a mistletoe because that shit's poisonous. I think I think that's just um like the common holiday berry thing that they have Man, going you're trying on. Trying to get lucky with your sister, you fucking hick. <laughs> this this also is white, isn't it? I mean, granted, that's fine. That's all right in life. We in there. That's Holly. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Anyway, Holly. Yes, thank you. Um. Oh, Holly. So, yeah. You know what's actually just really just. Ah, 
I'm adoring about this one. First of all, um, there's this odd sort of apple bloom wink, which is also greater concerning me about my previous concern about him trying to get with his sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, you, if you want to really go to the concern, just look at uh, freaking Granny Smith behind them. Oh, I mean, no, just that look right there is man. almost I think hilarious. She might be like inspected. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, God. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I wanted to point out uh, more directly is the indents in the snowman's nose and his arms uh, where the sticks and the carrot would go. I'm actually really enjoying how the, there's an indent in them uh, as they were put in, as opposed to just being, you know, this flat surface. Mm. It's really nice. It's, it's good. And Big Mac has some uh, really nicely done shading. Uh, you know, not that the others have um, lazy shading, mind you, but uh, Big Mac's shading uh, just... Has a lot of good focus on it for uh, what he's got. He is the uh, centerpiece. Mm -hmm. He definitely is. But I mean, back to a previous point of where I think Granny Smith was just like inspecting his junk back there or something. I don't <laughs> know exactly what's going. On. The point is, this whole image is a very incestual worry. That's my grandson. Yeah, like here's a stupid thing. Like he goes to Grace, it's like, do it. <laughs> yeah, man. Tis the season. Uh. Uh, Hello, hello, hello. Well, well, while we move on to the next one, we do have some great news here. It looks like Suki was able to finally join us. Hi. So he'll He's he alive. we can. Holy shit! So Suki, if you want to critique with us on the art, feel free to jump right in on any uh, thoughts you might have while we're going through these. All we're right. only uh, by just. By the way, I was li I, I listened a little bit earlier. You were thinking of Holly, as what was. No, no, Mike no, yeah. made that clear. Yeah, it was Holly. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, I knew right. it wasn't mistletoe, but yeah. still. I'm, I'm <laughs> Isn't a mistletoe made of fucking Holly? I don't know. All right, what's this here? Um, this is Winter Snuggles. It's cute, simple, and they, they win with the um the pressed in muzzle style, a sort of rhino nose, if you will. These are uh, this is a common um cartoony style. It's cute. It's Usually, simple. Most men think of is uh, egophiliac, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the egophiliac does uh, things like that uh, very commonly. Um. <clears throat> You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the attempt of the fur here for Rainbow Dash. Uh, it's odd not it's odd that it's um it's not on Fluttershy. Uh, it's kind of on her ears, and I actually think I see some bunches of it where the socks where the socks end. So there I guess so many socks. So I guess it is there, and they're going with this whole joint scarf thing once again. Very nice. Um, I'm a little upset with the eyes just because I feel like the uh, the J eyes. Nothing wrong with the J style. Um, it's it's a simple way of getting the depth the depth you want in eyes, but uh, it's also a bit of a lazy way. I feel like this artist, uh, especially because of how they did Rainbow Dash's tail, that came out really really well. So I feel like they actually could have done a lot more with the eyes. Hmm. One thing I do like here is the uh, basic the kind of the watercolored look that that whole thing has. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I suppose my only problem with this is this, this is just a nitpick on my end. I always do this because I just hate. I just hate this. I'm not really sure why. I just um, the the shiny fucking mane and tail. It's like why are they why are they shiny? Why are they made of of some form of plastic? Oh, you mean why are you super shiny? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they seem like if I touch them, they would be they would be slick somehow. They would be slippery in some way. Mm. Yeah, the like only they thing I could firm to the touch. Only thing I could think of is maybe they got caught in a glazing factory and just got. <laughs> they would use using a new shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm okay. going to move this image aside because apparently I got a message I got to look at here. And while we're doing that, here's one that I especially picked sure. out for Slick here because I figured he would definitely have a field day with it. Here we go. What did he do? Uh, oh, what does this say? Uh, the Christmas Chrissy thing? Christmas Chrissy, yep. Mm -hmm. Very oh. nice. No I, like, no, I like this one. Um, I suppose the only thing I could really make a... True note of here. First of all, I like what they did with the horn. Uh, people do a lot of different things with um, Chrysalis's horn. The, the, it has to have a jagged look. That's what everyone goes with. But it, getting there is the interesting factor, and no one's really sure how they want to go about it. So I like what they did here. It's not really so much. It doesn't look like that someone like took a, a, a you know a blade to it and just kind of ch cut chunks out of it. Uh, it looks like that um, it molded that way. Like it kind of melted back almost. It's it's interesting. Um, I don't really like what happened with the hooves here, though. Uh, just that um, they they have this drilled hole thing as opposed to, uh, like I was saying before, that knife cutout thing. But that knife cutout little feel was exactly what you wanted. But yes, the sort of cheese legs thing that you wanted. That's actually what you <laughs> wanted for the legs as opposed to this drill kind of look. Not that it's bad in any way. 
um, you know, to each his own with uh, such things. I'm just saying that with the general norm of things, eh, I, this could I think that could have been done a little better. A uh, bit of a um, flat nose, I think, for Chrysalis. You want to go with a bit more of a rounded look, but uh, I, I enjoy it. It's nice seeing a different renditions. But again, I am such a bitch when it comes to the eyes, and this is just that they're wrong. The eyes are wrong. This is supposed to be the the slit eye look. Like that's that's a golden standard when it comes to like crystals and change and changelings. And stuff. I, like. You actually upset me when you when you edit things like that out. When you don't put things like that in, the, those little things with going on with the eyes, those mean yeah, a lot. Yeah, let's go there. I destroyed an image for him because it said like guys on slid on nightmare mode. Oh. Yeah, you shit on me with that one. That that hurt. But I really do love what's going on. The, this scarf that she's wearing, it's a knit scarf. Like you look at uh, where it's draping, you can look at that scarf and you know what it feels like. That's what I absolutely love. There's texture to that scarf. Hmm. Well, it's to, um, just to get a little bit more critique out of this, because it, it, this is one thing that is bugging me a little bit, uh, the Chrissy horn. I mean, I already touched on the horn. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, no problem. We, Actually, one thing, I just don't know what's going on back here. It's like, what's happening with the Santa hat in the back? It was a little melted on. Ah, like, oh, wait, no, I see. I kind of see what you're getting at there. Like, it just oh, kind of goes white like dome. The Santa hat itself is, like, missing... Well, either missing or it looks like it's got a, like a pile of snow on the back of it or yeah, something. Yeah, looks like she's wearing half a snow globe. <laughs> Maybe it was a cheap Walmart Santa hat. You know, the one with the weird baseball um, oh, resizers oh, oh, oh. that they have who on them. Who is dating who right now? If someone just said they're dating a pony, I mean, I'm banning you forever. Literally forever. <laughs> either that or we'll probably just put... Never mind, I'm not going to do that. Sunshine, shut up. Yeah. No, 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 like, that, that is your one fucking warning. Alright, well, uh, there's actually a few from this artist, but this is one that I grabbed. Uh, Rare Jack Daily does a lot of, um, well, Rarity and Applejack um, together pictures. Ooh. And uh, this is actually one right, that I thought is, would... My, my first problem with this, it's just the fucking... You don't... These two can't ship. What? They, they can, they can. It's not the worst, but... Fuck. All right, all right. Well, back to the piece. Um, I like what's going on here with the expressions more than anything. We've got this uh, Applejack always has this sense of wounded pride whenever shit like this happens. And more so, <laughs> more so considering she's the fucking rope girl, and this shit happens to her shockingly often. Considering, um, and I, it's hard to say exactly what Rarity is portraying. Is is it perhaps this worry or maybe this shock that she actually fucking did this to herself? Um. In either situation, I adore what's happening with the eyes here. The uh, the um, diamond and spot look, it's uh, it's fairly common, but I like how it was done here. Um, it's the very body, viral way to do things. The, the body shapes are really good, especially with its coloring style that we had here. One thing I really love is what's going on with Rarity's tail. It's got the Rarity's tail is known for that spiral, and this is a beautifully done spiral. The shading... The lighting, the coloring, it's done really well, especially with the inside of the spiral. You can see it's this lighter color because it's receiving a little less light. It's just wonderfully done. Mm. I actually did the same thing for the uh, her mane, too, up top. She did do the same thing for her mane, yes. It always got, it always got to me that Rarity is, like, bald on one side of her face, you know? <laughs> but, uh... yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I really think about it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay, let's see here. Uh, next, uh... I think some interesting renditions of how that's handled by, by other artists. Anyways. Alright, next... Her, her, yeah. her waft. Yeah. Alright, well, next one up. we got here is Snowy Twilight. There's a lot of Twilight stuff. There's a lot of Twilights here. Alright. It, believe me, it was not my intention. It was not my intention, I promise you. The expression is a little odd. Do me a favor. Can we close up on that on that face a little bit? I need to see a little What's more. What's with her eye? Her eyes are a little off. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm curious about. The shine yeah. is weird. That's a weird shine. Yeah, I've never seen this shine. It's it's the sideways J. I've actually never seen um a uh, sideways J eye. It I've makes seen. her look like she's got goat eyes. Yes, goat it does. Actually. Yes, it does, unfortunately. Like, goat everything eyes. else is fine, but that kind of fucks it. <laughs> Um, I like what's going on with the mane here. The, the several spikes uh, that um, seem to be 
indicating a, a little bit of wind, or at least there was recently. Uh, there doesn't seem to be now because of the way the snowflakes are just falling straight. Um, and, uh, all right, sir, can you zoom out a little bit? Oh, uh, certainly. All right, great. Um, now, I like everything that's else that's going on here. There's a few little things. I think her leg... I mean, I mean, I'm not amazing with anatomy, so I just, so just. It's just weird. This it, it's, her it's, left it's, leg is continuous. What the hell? Is yeah, I, uh... Uh, yeah. It seems like it's a little far forward. First of all, and also, I think her foot is bigger than her thigh. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was wondering about that. Something didn't seem quite right. Yeah, her foot is bigger than her thigh. So there's a few little interesting anatomy uh, things going on here, but certainly not, <laughs> certainly not bad. A little funny to look at. But I also really like what's going on with the tail here. It's got this um, this almost question mark thing going on with it, uh, which you know, definitely not intentional. But I, I just like to owe it to Twilight's inquisitive nature for the current tail shape. It's just me. Don't pay attention to me. I just I'm one of those guys. <laughs> but, um, but actually, there is one thing going on with the tail. It looks like they forgot to color a section. If you look at, as the colors go from in to out, you can see on the last layer. Oh, the oh, I see the it. Pink. Yeah. Just above the bright pink there, there is uh, this. There's a section missing, which uh, maybe well, she's getting old. Well, you could say one. it's. You could go with the maybe it just kind of split on that one spot, but yeah, it's, it's a little weird. Whoops, mm -hmm. that is not what I wanted. Kind of funny, kind of funny. It's cute. That's cute though. I like it. One thing they did do really well just before we move on, is um. From where Twilight's mane begins uh, on her head um, to where it wraps around <laughs> behind her, they did an amazing job of keeping that straight. Like me, if I was drawing this, I would never be able to keep that straight. Uh, like how the colors move, the, the pink and the purple from where they're going behind her neck and uh, over her shoulder like that. It was they've been they've been kept very straight, and that's that's very difficult to do. I would not be able to. I would have. Uh, I, I made a. Um, a decent enough link drawing way back at, uh, unfortunately, the sword coming from his shoulder did not match where it was going uh, to his lower back, so uh, th just things of that nature are actually very difficult to keep straight, because it's difficult to think about how they connect. Alright, so what's next? Alright, next thing. Do, 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 do. One called, not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> I can't say I know the context, but, um... um this, let's, wrap, let's wrap gifts. Actually, that, that's pretty much uh, oh. the context here. This was, <laughs> this, this was done, hold on, hold on. This was actually done as the uh, part of the artist training ground on day nine, I believe, where uh, the, uh, the theme was wrapping presents. So, okay. yeah. Well, knowing that, it's it's wonderfully well done. Um, There is something to note. There's an odd perspective going on between Pinky's hoof and Twilight's tail. They, they seem like they're in the same layer, almost, which is a little strange. Also, Twilight's tail seems to be coming out of a bum cheek, which is, again, it's... There's always placement issues with that pose. It's not anyone... It's not the artist's fault in anime, by any means. It's just difficult. That pose sucks. <laughs> uh, one thing they do do really well. I like what they're going with the anatomy. Now, her the anatomy in perspective. Her le back legs do look a little stubbly, but that's also owing to her position and the perspective from her position. But what I like about the anatomy is the rounded belly they've got going on because that's that ponies have these rounded, very muscular bellies, and that's 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 typical in the show. And you actually don't see that very often coming from uh, coming from artwork. So it's it's interesting, and of course. I have to give it to the to the expression. This is a very common expression for Twilight, so it's nice seeing it so desirably done in an art in a, an art piece. Um, Pinky's expression. She's fucking Pinky. I, I honestly don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> I will say. Shut one, up. One one thing I will say when you before you zoomed in this image, I thought that was Pinky. The the carpet Twilight's on that that's the white part. I thought it was fucking Pinky's hoof just like stretched over that gift. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, no, not, that's obviously not a problem with the artist or the artwork at all. I just, uh, I just took it. I just didn't see it right for a moment. Um, you know, and Twilight is cutting out these wrapping paper, and now there's all these little, wonderful little things. You've got the tree in the background that was, uh, it's, it was quickly done. It wasn't meant to be the centerpiece by any means, so it was just kind of painted in. Um, 
I got the present in the back. Currently, Twilight is... Uh, I, I like the thought of the multitasking here, because what we have right now is Twilight um, doing two things at once. She is cutting the paper, and she is folding uh, the little box that she's working on right now. She's folding that flap of the wrapping paper. So she's uh, multitasking with magic, and it's I, it's neat. I like seeing something like that. I, I think I get the one thing that's um, driving me crazy is just the way Pinky's eyes are looking. It almost looks like a dreamy wrapper. Yeah. Like, just, he just got that dreamy look to it, but he obviously got the uh, cocked she's eye. Going on, she's got this Justin Bieber feel going on right now. Uh, oh, dear God, no. Not that. Anything but that. She's got this Justin Bieber kind of dreamy look going on. By the way, there's this, <laughs> there's this fucking video. We sell little DVDs at 7 Eleven, you know, in any fucking convenience store. <laughs> there's this fucking Justin Bieber fucking DVD. They made a movie about him. There's a movie. It's like five bucks. I'm so fucking... I'm so tempted. You can't even imagine. I can, and unfortunately, I don't want to think about it. All right. It All burns. Right, so what's next? Next, we have Sassaflash. <clears throat> Sassaflash. Um, obviously, it's an OC creation from the looks of it. It's a simple little thing. By the but way. I know a lot of, I thought it was derpy at first, but apparently Sassaflash is the OC. We probably should move on. I'm really going to shit on this thing if I'm allowed to... Um, go for the high point. Go for the uh bu bullet points. The high point. All right, <clears throat> all right. Um, one thing I like going on right here uh is the way that um, it's the inquisitive expression of uh you know now he's wrapped this he's wrapped some of the wire around the tree and it's just kind of like all right now how am I possibly going to do this? He's looking at his hooves and he's realizing this is actually not going to work out very well. <laughs> Mm. Uh, and honestly, that's unless you want me to kind of tear this thing up. Uh, no, I, th I think we got enough. I think we got enough here. Mainly, uh, one thing that really intrigued me was the art style. But yeah, the more I look at it, the more I realize I really did. I really just kind of grabbed and went with this instead of really uh -huh, giving a good look. Because if you let me go ham on this thing, those wings are the first thing going down. Um. Well, right, how about, how about made it, made it. It like shit. Let, let's just put it this way. Yeah, the wings are definitely not correct in any way, shape, or form. Period. The, plane cones. the wings are a bit of a problem. There's some perspective issues. I'm not sure what's happened with the face. The ears are a little odd. There's a bit of a strange perspective going on with the tail. Mm -hmm. Everything right. His thighs comprise of 30% of his body. Yeah, when everybody knows that the plot, that's 30% of the body. Yeah, no kidding. It's like actually part of them. All right, so what's next? Next, we have Winter Princess. Hmm. All right, I uh, see this is a lovely piece. This delves into um, an interesting lore on the thought of Luna being uh, of night and winter, especially after the snow, um, the snowdrop uh, flash came out. Uh, people thought that um, she was a much more... Um, Wednesday. That she was um, associated much more with winter, which, as the princess of the night, you you might think, uh, what did I say, snowdrop? It's snow, no, it's not snowblind, is it? Is it that? It's snowdrop, I hope it they're talking snowdrop. about. Right, right, no, snowblind Whoops. was the, um, was the parody, uh, fucking yeah. name. All right, <clears throat> so anyway, you should never feel bad for snowdrop, cabroni. Please stop. I'll fucking tear you in half on that deal. Anyway, um, so, I like what's happening here, especially with the, uh, the symbol in the back is interesting. It's this cross, um... Uh, on top of the moon. It's got these wonderfully uh, jagged edges. I like the points. I like uh, the symmetry of the symbol, too, because if you're not using um, proper tools, uh, symmetry like this is difficult. I'm not sure if this was done in a... Um, judging by uh, you know some of the effects going on, I think this was probably uh, digitally animated. Uh, animated, excuse me. Digitally drawn. Um, probably through Psy or for, probably Psy. Psy is a little nicer thing, about this kind of... Uh, but one style. thing that's really nice about this is the different styles going on. Uh, there's, um, detailed feather work that's more, it's giving a more realistic feel on the body and the wings, but there's this, um, somewhat ethereal cartoon feel going on with the mane and the tail, uh, just giving it this, uh, two different ways of looking at it. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's something you don't see very often. Um, one, one thing I don't think anybody will be able oh. to really replicate, I, I truly, truly Is adore that... what, uh, Atrial did with, um, his uh, main for Luna, he puts the constellations in them, and that's something that like we had never seen before him. It's a oh, really that sounds character. like a cool idea. Oh, oh wow! Great. I, I'll show you sometime. Atrial does some amazing work because of that. It's uh, it comes out very well, but it's um you know it's, for that previous image, people um 
have uh, that person put um various glowing stars, bright stars in there, which is it's nice. Um but um it's it's just uh one of those rare effects that uh you see that you don't see people putting because normally they just put the little uh dotted little stars. Dots. But again, uh it, if you're looking for like the mecca of what to do with like Luna's mane, it's definitely actual. <laughs> that mm -hmm. man really found it. All right. Uh, just real fast. Um, apparently, I do got a bit of a, an apology for the previous art. Yeah, Sasa Flash still does suck. But apparently, Sasa Flash is actually based off of an O, uh, not an OC, but an actual background character called Sasa Flash. Hilarious. So yeah, a, a bit of props there for actually using a background that nobody even knows exists. All right. Yep. Yeah, props. props. Yeah. I'm feeling you. Still looks uh, that good. All right. Moving on. Christmas carols. Yo, hold on, vaguely creepy. Actuals Gildas, mm, I feel you, man. Deep ums. So many ms. All right, Christmas carols. Let's see what we got here. All right, one thing I always enjoy with anything that's beastly is always this one fucking little anime fang. I don't know why I have such a good time. Sp Spike being the one who has this going on, I'm always a fan. Um, one thing I have to say right off the bat that I noticed, uh, what is Rarity doing with her tongue? Actually, I don't see I the tongue. I, it just back. looks like her. Yeah. she has no bottom <laughs> lip. I mean, yeah, her bottom lip has no teeth or something. It's like she's like, she wants to taste. I don't know. Um, <laughs> now, one thing I like they're doing here, it's it looks weird just because, just because of the, kind of the way he did it. But he was going for making see the steam from their breath in the cold air. Now, the only problem that I have with this is that Spike looks like he's trying to kiss Rarity through this fucking steam with where it's going. <laughs> it's just coming in a, in a bit. It's just going in a bit of a funny way. It's um, it, it's cute. Uh, I actually really like what's going on here. What's going on with Rarity's mane as well because I think it was meant to be the same way, but it's got a bit of a different feeling to it. And it's not just because of the holly that she's got decorating her mane at the moment. It's a bit longer. The curve isn't as, the curl isn't as deep. Um, it's, it's nice. And, uh, you know, that maybe he's going for that. Maybe they're going for that, the indirect kiss kind of thing. I, I honestly don't think so, but it's possible. Um, everything else is, uh, pretty standard. Spike is a bit of a bulgy character. What I don't like, though, is that they got kind of lazy with making Spike's anatomy. Everything on his lower body, honestly, his entire body is kind of just, like, strapped together. Like, it's just a blob of meat. Yeah, that's we got. That's been bugging. That's like bugs me the whole thing. Thighs, He's just his thighs are they look part like of the old. They, they look like the old tubby dragon. Uh, yeah, they were the tubby rather dragon. than what the show does. Past that, uh, I'm just not crazy about the bad. They they didn't do anything with the background, and that's not really an issue, especially if you're not going for it. But I, I don't know. I feel like something like this could have used some background. Background could have been really nice with this. Could have been a building or something on the side. No. Yeah. Mm. All right. But, but one thing, one thing, this is rare, I adore it, there's shadow work in this, and the shadows are actually very nice looking. I think so, they just mimic the shadow. What? Oh, there's a, there's a highlight tool you can use to copy and then fuss with shadows or create shadows of uh, already existing uh, line works. Man, now you're just shitting on potentially good things. <laughs> well, I only say it because it's not a painted shadow, it's a solid shadow. Right, right. I hear you. Okay. Ah, good point. Yeah. That's why. I, that's why it comes to mind. It's not painted. It's a solid shadow. Uh, Guys, it might not be in the middle of nowhere. This, uh, there are definitely trees in Ponyville. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a light in front of them. There's a couple. Yes, there, there's a light. That shadow can only be cast by a light. So there's somewhere with some form of light. There's also a shadow. There's also a proper shadow coming down from her mane under her scarf. So. Yep. Okay. So, uh, what's next? Next, uh, we got Mistletoe. Oh, here we go. That's you got no idea. Uh... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fucking did. Uh, yeah, what's happening in the background there? Can we zoom in on that for a moment? Uh, definitely. Let's uh, see. How far can we zoom in on that? Well, how far we can zoom in and what we can see are two different things. Let's mm -hmm. figure out how far we can go. All right, let's see now. We could probably that seems good enough to see. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me. Uh, what is, what there, is she saying over there? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm. I was hoping I could get a way to. Okay, let me shrink this down and see if I can just grab the image in general here. Okay. Um. Let's just open the image in a new tab. See if it can get more detail. I have no idea. 
I have no idea what they're saying. I really All don't. Right. It's I... too small. All I can tell is that she's pissed because he just went nope. Yeah, there's something weird going on. They've got this weird face thing. And I, th I, I think, um, I think I see <laughs> no, 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 Scooby no, no, saying, I "Come the and fuck like, down." That's, that's what I was thinking, but she's not. She's not saying, "Oh, come on." No, but that's I think I it. see. I, I, it says maybe bull something. Bullshit. Yeah, but, no. Let me. I'm gonna go that myself. I'm gonna see if I can get in on that myself. Yeah, uh, I, I swear I can see Scootaloo saying "Calm the fuck down," though. It's very hard, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She's saying "Calm the fuck down." Uh, this is gonna drive me fucking crazy. All right, well, I'll just do the image for now. All right, uh. It's a, it's a hand-drawn image, and very well done for that. It's uh, rare to see um, a really smooth, really solid uh, hand-drawn image. In fact, uh, it's so solidly done that on Fluttershy's shoes, you can see these little bristles coming out Available. of it. Like, what? What? Oh, sorry. I was, oh. Was uh, you can see these little bristles coming out of her shoes uh, you know, from the inside of the shoe, like the, the, these little things that seal the, the, seal the heat in. Um, <laughs> she's got this odd, like, rebel... Uh, you know, Star Wars Rebel style going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and um, she's got a huge fucking tail, but she, and and mane, but she does so. <laughs> that's uh, that's actually quite accurate. It's, so shoes exist in Equestria. Yes, does. We've seen that numerous, numerous times. Do you even watch this show? Um, they do. They, they will. And thing going on heck, the guys. winter wrap up thing has shoes for crying out loud. What winter wrap up? Yeah. He's got this, like, fucking snake neck thing going on. Like, he's ready to lunge at a bitch. I'm out. Yeah. The only you, thing you, I can do really... do a flip? I'm out. The thing I can only really, <laughs> really criticize on is that he, the hoof that's shushing her is smaller than the hooves that are currently on the ground. Yeah, that, that's, a weird, that's, that's a weird perspective drop. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's a bit bizarre. You never saw shoes in the series. Yes, you have. Yeah, yeah, we yep. have. There's fucking go to Winter Rabbit. Where are your shoes? If you have watched the show at any point in your life, you have definitely seen shoes in that fucking show. All right, so what's next? All right, next, um, we're gonna pull up about 500 different pictures of shoes in the show just to prove them wrong. Right. Okay, actually, we're gonna go to Dashy through the snow. This is just funny. All right, well, this is always a fun little thing. This is a very cartoony, very, uh, a very about-the-show feel of things. She just crashed, and she's traveled all the way from there to here, barely missing that tree, by the way, only to wind up unharmed, probably because of the cushion of snow. Um, and there's the whole, you know, pile of snow resting on the head thing, very calm, on the head and the nose. Actually, I think there's a tree behind her. What? It looks like, I can't tell. It's either, it's either the snow on the head or a tree behind her. I can't really tell. Um, it's on her head because yeah, you, can no, see, head. you can see the shading over her, over the yellow part of her mane. Oh, yeah. This is, this is funny. This is a, just look at her face like, well, I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's almost like the survivor's guild going on. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of great. There's a lot of good background going on here. There's pine trees. There's also a forest over there that might even be the Everfree, hard to say. Um, but, uh, I, I like what's, I just like everything that's happening here. There's some good work where, uh, on the trail where she was, suggesting that the uh, snow was um, was uh, pushed up when she traveled through it, which obviously it was. Um, there was some snow resting on her. Uh, I like what's, what's going on with the eyes. It's a solid expression. It's a blank expression, mind you, but it's a solid expression for what it is. Yeah, it's um, like, like, well, fuck. Or that happened. <laughs> there's some good things going on with the shine. It's not that um, that plastic shine. It's actually what you would see on a, uh, on a well-cleaned uh, hair and such. And uh, I do like the texture on the tree. Uh, we all know what trees feel like, and you, I, this tree makes me under makes me feel like I know what it feels like. Is that just a solid thing of wood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on. Then we got Rainbow Help. As soon as it comes help, up. What a bitch! Oh damn it, Derpy! Something a little bit more on the comical side. Well, let's hear it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> all right, see, now this is something I can get behind because this has happened to me <laughs> in the past. This is exactly thing. Uh, when I was first starting out um, working on uh, skiing, which actually I'm quite a fan of. I enjoy skiing uh, very much. 
Um, I actually have a bit of a funny story to tell uh, later on. Um, but the short, the short version of the sto- of the other story I want to tell is that um, having screwed up going down a hill that was uh, a bit too steep for a beginner like me, I managed to turn around, but I didn't fall. So I was skiing completely backwards, and uh, my friend is looking at me with worry, like, "Are you going to be okay?" And I'm just looking back at him, like, "I have no idea." <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I um. So what's happening here is uh, the the only problem I have is uh, kind of the background. It almost feels like they're <laughs> they're on a, like a crazy mountain. Like not not so much a slope, but they're on a freaking mountain <laughs> with how little background there is. Like they're just going through the damn sky. Um, you know I, I like the expression. Derpy's kind of funny because she's all like messed up here. She's actually crossing her hooves, which means that like she's got. Yeah, she, she's she's just absolutely screwed up here. I'm wondering how she managed to get backwards, but having done this myself, I'm not sure. Like, hey, I, I, I guess you know what happens. It somehow happens. God couldn't explain this if he tried. Um, the uh, I like what's happening with how the um with these poles with ski poles. Is that just called ski poles, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, how they're being kind of thrown away. She's dropped them, and that's probably why her hooves are crossed because uh, she was trying to get them back. She screwed that up, so there they go. And Dash is literally, Dash is literally giving the same the same expression as my friend. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's this kind of weird perspective going on with Dash's ski poles, though. They're very small. Oh they're my s- god! They're small as if they were extending very far back. So that's what was bugging me about those poles. Yes, oh. they're they're at an odd perspective where they're just very very small. Um, Dash is doing a bit of an odd thing. Plus, there's this odd thing going on with her wings. Uh, they're not far enough back. Also, they're not big enough as opposed to her body. Um, Derpy's wings are surprisingly well done, uh, considering she's also got this bit of this fluff thing going on. Rainbow Dash actually seems surprisingly lazily done compared to Derpy for this. Yeah. Hmm. Her perspective is all kind of wonky. I don't know. I kind of see a little bit more like a minimalist, like, but considering how da- Dash is all minimal and yeah, and uh, Derpy is not, yeah, it kind of it kind of does give a lazy feeling. Let me give it a second look. Hmm. Like it, feels, it seems like Derpy got more proper attention than Dash did. Yeah, yeah. A, bit, a bit interesting. I think she'll do fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got wings. She can do it. Alright, well, moving right along here, um, this one is, um, Nat 4.8. Yeah, for those of you who don't quite understand, I think it actually is, uh, I don't know what the N is for, but Artist Training Ground, um, number four, uh, entry eight, blah. Anyway, it's definitely seasonal. I don't like this. Cup of dirt! (laughs) I don't like this. Cup of dirt! (laughs) This is an incredibly angular piece. Uh, there's some odd thing going on with the color, like it's not fully buttoned or like AJ fucking. So what does this have to do with Christmas? Yeah, uh, this uh, is uh, Pony oh, Christmas, heartwarming. Heartwarming. Um, oh, there's okay. this odd. I see what they're going for with the tail, like but I think kind of failed at it. Um, she's her back leg is like longer than her other one. Yeah, um, it's fucked up. Yeah, the perspective's a little wonky. Uh. Those, um, those fucking foofs are for the shoulders aren't, like, properly placed. They're, like, at her forearms for some reason. Uh, the hat is not resting on anything. It's resting on her ears. Good luck with that, you fucking weirdo. The mug is not rested on her hoof. Um, and like I said, everything is, like, super angular. Yeah, the only, I think the only redemption to this, though, is that this was done within a 24-hour period between one day and the next. But... Yeah, it's still there are there's a lot of. I don't even give that excuse. I finished that one that one picture I posted in less than a day. Well, it's the only excuse I have. So otherwise, yeah, it does have quite a few problems. But at the same time, it was the only real heart swarming I found. So figured I had to throw it in there at least. So we'll yeah. move right along here before. Uh, uh, whatever. Yo, Sonic though, whatever I can, I can catch the critiques when it's posted on YouTube. Somebody that actually fucking watches. My God. All right. Yep. So what's next? All right, and next, Winter Babs. Weird hearing anybody actually pays attention to our YouTube stuff. You'd be surprised. Uh, you know what? I actually like uh, I like this a lot because of the way the snow is resting. I like the expression. It's very like Babs. It's this whole sort of what are you looking at kind of thing. It's it's cute. It's a snarky little what are you looking at kind of face. It's nice. Um, 
it's a little weird what's going on with like the uh, the very end of her mouth though, just because it looks like she's got a fucking nostril on the end of her mouth. But um, <laughs> you know she knows. <laughs> yep. It's not really a problem. It's just something that I found a little funny. Um, the freckles are really nice, especially because of the blush that's gone around them. Uh, that's that's nicely done. Um, the eyes are very the eyes are very straightforward, but they're very soft spoken. It's very nice to see. Um, she has a shirt. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's a scarf. Now, I'm gonna give that a scarf right off the bat, just because you got the you could see her fur on both ends right there, just at the bottom corners. Or I'm sorry. Oh, you can't see the whole image. My bad. No, I don't think so. Unless it's, okay, not, yeah, yeah, not, there, there we go. Yes, box. yes, that is then that is a scarf. Uh, it's like this almost fucking one of those fucking bosom scarves, you know, those really fucking big ass fluffy fucking ones. Um, whatever. Um, uh, but I, I like it. I like what's going, what's done with the hair. The mane was always nice with Bab, so I'm happy to see that's properly intact. Uh, the ears have a good curve to them. I enjoy that. All in all, I, I like it mostly because it's an expression based piece, and the expression was very well done. Okay. Um. All right, here's one that's going to be a little bit more on the interesting side. Uh, this one is um, Christmas Pie. Yo, that sounds hot. Oh, I'm half right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad picture, but it's like, holy crap, Pinks, calm down a little. All right. It's just because she's wearing stockings. Yes, it is. Apparently, we, you know, it's everything. On ponies, it sluts them up. It really <laughs> does, dude. It sluts them up really hardcore. All right, so also, the first thing fact, I... those, those socks have bells on them. All right, so the first thing that I noticed, and so did literally everyone else, is the bladed fucking ear she's got going on. Yeah, I know. Um, it's it's nicely done. There's a little too much fur work going on, and the ear's a little long, but there's nothing really wrong with that. Ears um, really come in different strands when uh, when ponies are made. Ears are made in various different ways, but I also like what's going on with the uh, the fake eyelash thing going on here. The sort of winged eyelashes. I, I think it's cute. I think it's nice, but again, like Sketch said, it's kind of slutting her up, which is <laughs> just fine for me. Just fine. Um, I really like what's going on uh, with the stockings, by the way. Um, but more than anything, more than anything, I like how the cloth from the scarf is going in between these legs like it is. It's just really, really nicely done. It's like it's what I was talking about before with connecting things when you're behind uh, another layer. It's it's really nice. It's just nicely well done and it meshes, it meshes very well with how her legs are. Um, something odd, something a little odd seems to be going on with her um her left front leg, uh, just because it looks like it's this. The stocking on it looks like it's this draped cloth. Meanwhile, the others don't look like that. It's just um, a little odd looking. Nothing really too wrong with it, but I feel like they just kind of were thinking too much into the um, into the into making the scarf rather than making the this fucking link. It was definitely not what I was expecting. All right. Okay. Uh, anyway, people, uh, I think that's all I got because that threw me away to fuck off. All right, uh, give me a uh, uh, give me a quick moment here. Unfortunately, I just realized I double linked on something here, so I'm trying to find what I originally what had it. But uh, we'll go on to the next one while I'm working on that. Till then, we have uh, something on the more odd side: uh, monochromatic derpy. Um, Christ, she's got a jaw from hell. <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of like some Saturday morning cartoon of some sort, but I don't know why. Her jaw is so out of place that even these stock. It's, stockings the, it's so the lazy '90s cartoons. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. The, the jaw is so cart so '90s cartoon. Even these stockings can't slut her up. And there's this. What is going on with that scarf? Is that like a pin in it or something? All right, well, for the style, it's fine, but um, I'm not I'm not crazy about it, about it overall. There's not there's honestly not enough for me to uh, really go on with this, uh, except for the wings being like almost the length of her body. She's so round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, we'll go ahead and she's, this, she's like circuit round when I first met him. That was round. Don't you even front with me. Moving right along here, uh, 
Oh wow, I must have been really tired. I don't remember picking this. Well, we'll go with that anyway. Learning to fly in style. Here we go. Uh, another hand-drawn piece. It's very nice. I um, I like what's happening with the snow that's coming off it. Um, I feel like maybe in terms of perspective, these skis are both way too long, and that ramp is way too close for her to have so quickly entered this maneuver. You know what I mean? I feel like realistically with skis, Wait, who... you'd be able to enter this, st this stunt so fast after leaving the ramp like that. Scootaloo is, like, very yellow-looking. It's just very, very... Yellow. It's like Fluttershy went butch. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, you guys... Like, I could be tough, too. This... You guys tell me I went this fucking guy went there. <laughs> like, he went in for it. All right, yeah, so but I don't care if I finish him. I hear you, buddy. I have pissed off blind and circuit very minutely uh, this the show. Meh. All right, moving right along here. Um, since learning to find style was uh, short and sweet. Fires of friendship. Very nice. I like what they're going for here, uh, primarily because of the episode, uh, you know, when the th these, um, these weren't really the three that, uh, got together, uh, but it's nice seeing these three because these guys, they don't really have much reason to hang out. Pinky kind of hangs out with everyone, but, um, she's kind of the bridge. Like, frankly, if it wasn't... F Wait, who's the artist that did this? Because it looks familiar. Um, Verulence. Verulence, yeah. Verulence, what do you want? You got the show notes, take a look. Now I gotta find it. <laughs> Number 27. Alright. Thanks. Yeah, oh, so... Hey, I did an art trade with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely an awesome little bit of art, and we lost D. Bye, D. Well, we'll get Slick D back here in just a moment. But yeah, this this is definitely an awesome little bit of art here. You could definitely get a little bit of the uh, glowing sheen to it. It's just like everything has a little bit of fuzz to it. Speaking of fuzz, you can also get a little bit of detail. You got the like the itchy sweater, cr Christmas sweater thing going on with Applejack. You also got the crazy hat that they always seem to have every single Christmas special, even though you can never find those things. And welcome back, Slick. Yup, this fucking thing. It's like motherfucking clockwork. God, I want, I want an owl. Somebody buy, someone go buy me an owl. Oh. Alright. Like, who, who, bitch? <laughs> Alright, All uh, right. did you have anything else to go on this before you went off, or...? Uh, nah, forget it, forget it, it's not that important. Alright, well, well I was able to find the uh, one I misplaced, so here is Hark How the Bells. What? <laughs> um, it's just a very awkward expression for her. Also, is anybody noticing that this is almost the exact same outfit that, that Luna near the beginning was wearing? Huh. Actually, I wonder... Like this is. Like I said, I tried to avoid insane. copies, but I think I know I got a couple of them. There, but not the same artist for one. Rainy, I'll fucking bury you. That is. An awesome Actually, picture, yes, right? it is the exact same artist. It is, oh, it is the same, same artist one. All right, so that explains it. There we go. Yeah. Well, at least oh. they're consistent. Also, quick shout out, hi Sky. You just tuned in. Who? <laughs> Sky, a friend of mine, Sky, wanted to know who was who. Ah. Oh. Uh, wanted to know who was me, so I just. Is your, bro is your, is your, bro is your brony dad watching? Yes, my. Uh, is your brony dad watching? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Dad, dad, dad who's in dad, denial. Dad, pop the pony. <laughs> no, I don't like My Little Pony. I'm not a brony. Oh, well, why do I, why yes. have I caught you watching the show then? <laughs> he, bought, <laughs> he bought me an early Christmas present. And it was a Pinkie Pie soap dispenser, and I'm like, oh, no, I think I talked about this last what week. What was that? I listened to the show. <laughs> <laughs> my son is doing a podcast. It doesn't mean I'm a brony. Uh, you watched the actual show. I appreciate art. 
Oh, okay. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next image here. Hashtag collide the explosion. Have a drink and watch the show. I've seen you watch the show at midnight, Ed. That's not true. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I don't heard you singing alone. No. And and door the explorer on at one a.m. I rest my case. It was a case. <laughs> All right. So for hey, those sorry, of you, sorry, wait, I gotta pause for Hey, sorry, you know how this bears an odd resemblance of a reverse of your situation back on episode what five or six? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so what just happened was some amazing shit. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes. So we Merry Christmas. We just got an outing. Oh, my God. I Do you even know what I... Your dad would, like, not like me after a while, because I would, like, so subtly prod him about being a brony. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, it would be great. It would be great. Or maybe he could just be a commentator. It just be me and my dad on the microphone. <laughs> it would be just so much arguing between you two. It would be a lot <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on here. Uh, we do got a few bit more bits of art, and yeah, we're just be glad. Just be glad. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess. Uh, just be glad your dad's name isn't Bruce because poor Comet can't get away from me and deal oh, with this. Oh yeah, gen- no, we'll discuss that later. That's pretty. <laughs> good. Oh, it's a great story. Yeah. We'll tell you after the show. Yo, Dora, the illegal immigrant. Yeah, I feel you, Rayo. <laughs> Dora, hashtag Dora, the illegal immigrant. <laughs> 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 All right, now be very okay. We are smug- or being smuggled across the border. <laughs> Actually, um... We did it. We're in America. Can you tell us what Border Patrol is? You just see the little fucking mouse just go across the screen and just click on the guy with the gun? <laughs> and they shot, Sniper. and they shot. Speaking Sniper, of no. Border Sniper, Patrol... Sniper. <laughs> oh, okay, this took a really amazing turn. I'm pleased with this result. We're yes. horrible individuals, but I live in Texas. Alright, so we've got fucking Board Warrior Applejack here, and uh, one thing I noticed immediately is a shading on the uh, mane and tail. Something legs, uh, that, uh, yeah, no, yeah. of course the legs. I'll get to that. Believe me, I'm I'm going for those legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, that that ain't anatomically correct. There's some great uh, shading work going on here, and shading work on something like this is not only difficult, but it's it's rare. A lot of people would have just lazily done it. This artist really took a lot into it, especially the shading beneath her hair, uh, the, beneath the hair in the front anyway. And uh, I really like the the expression. It's this. Uh, Intense kind of fuck you, I can do this kind of expression. I'm a big fan of it. Um, now, what's going on with her legs is something. You know when they, you know the expression that she's doing the splits all over town. Uh, this girl could do it with what she's doing right now. Because um, I uh, ponies don't do this, nor do most creatures. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really amazing to watch. But ponies break their own anatomy very commonly, so this is nothing shocking. This is nothing uh, actually, shocking, but it ain't right in your regards. No, it ain't. It ain't right. It is not right to look at this, and uh, I can't help feeling like some artist is gonna find this, and they're gonna get that one artist who's just stalking the internet, looking for things to draw a vagina on. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> let's face it. Because yeah. the internet's full of fucking weirdos. Dude, that's the dude. The, those are like my favorite. My favorite. Like, I've always wanted to meet this person. I don't. I don't meet any of these people, and I'm really upset. I'm just waiting for that. I'm always wanting to meet that one artist who's like waiting for, like, the new, a new episode of something he likes to come on. He's just sitting there waiting with his fucking tablet, like, come on, give me something to do. He's just waiting for that one concept. I want to put his just... vagina on something. Yeah, exactly. There's <laughs> one concept that he can immediately turn into porn. Well, um, enough of uh, Applejack Weekend Warrior there. Let's go ahead and move <laughs> on to this. I hope Meanwhile, it's back at the ranch. Yeah. All right. Uh, I-, I like everything going on here. Because it's mostly the personality I like going on. Pinky, who's as festive as ever about literally anything who will make up a holiday. I guarantee you whatever they're doing right now is not actually a holiday or anything based on it. It's just something she came up with. I'm fully convinced of that. Um, sure. Either that or she's um, basically screaming it, which is driving them crazy. Yeah. And uh, she roped Applejack and AJ into this. Two people who are... You just, who, said, uh, you just said AJ twice. You mean Rainbow and AJ. No, it's no, AJ, AJ and AJ. AJ, AJ is yeah. so awesome that she got AJ to it twice. All right, well, Applejack and Rainbow Dash, uh, who are, uh, you know, the two least likely people to do this, but Pinky can rope you into fucking anything, let's face it. One thing I do love is that the artist went for um, the realistic, the realism of the series on this and had them use those interesting little, like, neck holders as opposed to using their hooves. I, though one thing I question for these constantly is, 
these things hold whatever you're wanting to in front of your face. How do you get them on there in the first place if your hooves can't do that? They've, we've never seen them mount anything on those. Alright, but anyway. Uh, really nice shading work. There's this bit of glowing light that's facing them, and it's, I'm enjoying the shading work for it, especially because it's a night. It looks like a nice, quiet night as opposed to her over there. Um, as opposed to her over there. He's got this interesting looking almost candy cane tie thing going on. It's uh it's really nice. Yeah, I think and it's a what, scarf because it doesn't look like a any kind of tie knot I've ever seen. What I really like too is that um again, it's just it's the vibe we're going that we're getting off of this. Applejack and Rainbow Dash both have these books because obviously they don't know these carols. Pinky does not have one because she knows them all by heart. Oh hey. <laughs> That's a <laughs> That's a good uh good observation. Observation there. And I also uh, it's like, Pinkie Pie. I kinda like that they had the little books like a harmonica thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and did those. Well that's what I was making note of earlier. I just didn't know what the fuck to call them. Alright, moving right along here just to pick up the pace a little bit. Applejack. Alright, well she's Santa Claus, she looks like she's from Panty and Stocking, let's move on. <laughs> Works for me. It's moving on. Out. Okay, a very pony Christmas. As soon as it loads up. I need to draw something for Christmas this year, but I don't know what. Rainbow Dash is a wonder ball, and all the bolts are fucking Comet Dash or Prancer, fucker, bastard, shithead, with all the fucking fun. <laughs> Thank you, Santa Claus. I like the style. The eyes are really cute. What's next? Uh, <laughs> just hammer. He just put in the hammer lane. <laughs> Lunar Express. Luna's being Luna's being cute. She's in a box because what kid didn't play with fucking boxes? I was in every box that I ever got for Christmas. I made forts out of boxes and I was in every fucking box. If you didn't, you were never a child. What's next? Uh, call back to a very minty Christmas. Uh, socks for every pony. Literally, there's minty. There you go. All right, socks for days. Rarity's slutting up really hard. Rainbow Dash <laughs> is. She's fucking Rainbow Dash. Pinky looks like she's also attempting to slot it up really hard. Minty's a bitch. Twilight doesn't know what socks is. Applejack is about to kick a bitch. And Fluttershy is also slotting it up. What's next? Wrong. Uh, MLP Xmas card. <clears throat> I do like Gen 4 uh, Minty, though. It's the, it's the same thing with the Wonder Bulls, just with the rest of them. How can any of the rest of them fly? Who fucking cares? What's next? And also, also, Pinky's making her lives a lot more hell. She's blind. Yeah, Pinky is fucking with Santa. You don't fuck with Santa. He's gonna kick <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I did not see Santa there, actually, so that's even more hilarious. One fucking Christmas. All right, Derby Tide. All right, this is a, a quick, a clear throwback to the Grinch. Uh, she's that fucking dog with the one antler and the flashlight and shit. Ah, and uh, now she's carrying mail through the snow. She looks like a bitch. She looks really stupid. <laughs> she so looks she... like a bitch. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, so let's go. What's next? Ho, ho. Bad Santa. Move on! Actually, yes. Pretty much. <laughs> Just all he has someone Santa, someone broke on. his freaking neck. <laughs> He's got a lot of neck. He also does not want to be here. Sweet Bell's trying to be good. God knows what Apple Loom is doing. Scootaloo's being a bitch and seeing her presence early. What's next? Alright. We got this one. Being a bitch Twilight's like Christmas list. Regulus. Twilight looks like she is trying to slut it up on Spike once more. She is a, he is a hard-working elf, and she is Mrs. fucking Claus, who's bored of her husband. All right, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dashing through the snow. Yeah, we're getting a few Rainbow of these. So. Oh, I thought it was going to be Rainbow Dash pun again. Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy looks like she, was, she really, really has to take a shit. Why is Asia here? She can't fly. Pinky, fucking stop. Rarity is in dress. Stop it. Twilight. Hold on a sec. Let's get to Twilight real quick. She is... This isn't going to work. A bitch. And there's fucking Derpy over there. And Spike, Christ Almighty, help out or we're leaving you here. <laughs> Nobody likes that fucker. <laughs> All right. Now down to the last two here. We got Slay Pull, which um, this is actually becoming a weird theme on the last ones, admittedly. Yeah, it is. Except uh, only the Pegasus I are doing this right now. Oh wait, Pinky that's the that's why like it's Barbara's balloon. Piggy's like trying to kill herself. We've got the kill herself with cake and a noose. 
Yeah, we've got fucking, like, the Nightmare Before Christmas going on over here. Candlelots in the background just being really, really eerie. This is a really nice background piece. I would love to discuss more on this, but we really got to wrap this bitch up. Well, we got only one more left, so feel free to expand a little bit more if you want. All right, great. I fucking love the background work on this. The entirety of Ponyville is right. It's covered in snow, but not messily so. They have the buildings. They have the glows. They have everything in the right position. Look at that fucking uh, town hall. Look at that shit. Canterlots in the damn back. They got sky. The they got clouds. They got the fucking moon. Uh, the characters are nicely done. This, uh, the glows are accurate to the character colors for the unicorn. Spike's got a list, meaning he's not fucking worthless right now. Who the fuck just called me a weeaboo? I'm a fucking rock you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little derpy on the bridge. Is there? Oh yeah, there is a derpy on the yes, bridge. There, yes, there is. I was gonna make note of that, but fucking Rainy's a bitch. So. All right, and then finally we have what apparently is on my Christmas calendar because I did not realize it until. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's like, where did I see this image for? And I was just like, you look yep. at the, look at the, I think right there. <laughs> yeah, this is ego. This is egophiliac being egophiliac at her finest. They're reading a book. Pinkie Pie is like trying to touch little boys in Spike. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Applejack is, like, fascinated, probably because she thinks this book might lead her to her missing hat. Uh, oh, no, there it is. Uh, <laughs> it blends in really well with the wall. Um, I think Rainbow Dash is about to, like, kill Twilight with scalding Coco. Fucking Rarity is, like, the only one who seems to be genuinely reading this book, probably because she's not stupid. And fucking... Fluttershy, what else do I need to say, really? <laughs> All right, and that is about it for the art. If any of you are oh, interested boy. in the sources of this art, we do. We well, we honestly tried to get the DVNR image, um, DVNR pictures, in, instead of a Derpy Baru link or other links like that. Unfortunately, a few of these I could not find the source. Egophiliac was a bit of an oddball because obviously we could see the source right freaking there, but Derpy Baru was the only image that's working for the moment. Go figure. <coughs> But yes, otherwise, uh, that is pretty much it for the art critique. A lot of great Christmas art, and um, I only scratched the surface. So if you want to see a lot more, just do oh, uh, just do a Google search or start <laughs> looking through different image boards. You'll find quite oh my God, a lot. The floor. Google it. But let's yeah, go I'm ahead. Sorry, I had to go like really hard on on those last ones, but um, you're running low. Yeah. Yeah, we were running low on time on that one, so I had to kind of crank them out. You kind of had to put the thread to the needle. Let's go, go, go.